Hey everybody, Konaja here. Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3. Today we're going to be going to Richmond first here in the Extreme Dirt Tour. I think, I think this is the last race before we go to whatever the playoffs will be for this Extreme Dirt Tour. I'm not really too sure what to expect from that. I'm guessing we're going to go back to some of the tracks we've already been to... I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to start out here in Richmond and um, try to continue building our momentum, since that seems to be a word they like to use. Uh, our momentum heading into the playoffs. Let's see, let me get reacquainted here. Looks like I have not run Richmond in our career yet. Seeing as how I didn't have a setup chosen, we're starting in the grass. Nice. Nice little grass burnout to get us started today. Let's see what this is all about. Now this one's another... semi-fictional, I guess is the words to use. Richmond, of course, is a paved track. Unlike Bristol, I don't think they've ever done this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they've, um, they've covered Richmond with dirt. But I do believe, way back in the day, Many, many years ago, Richmond was a dirt track to begin with, and then it was a small paved oval, and then it turned into what we have now, which is a three-quarter mile oval. There was a time in history where Richmond was thought to be the ultimate NASCAR track layout, and that instead of building mile and a half they should be building more three-quarter mile tracks. For whatever reason, that never really happened. Uh, Iowa eventually did it and kind of replicated Richmond, but it's not a one-for-one, one. and it ended up being a pretty good track. So the people that were saying that were, were kind of right, I think. This is a, a much better sized track for oval racing than a mile and a half. <laughs> I was really trying to hit the end of the pit wall there and it didn't happen. It's time to go here. Let's see what kind of speed we got. That was quite a lug down into second gear. Oh, this looks way different. Look how much darker the groove is. Yeah, they definitely do something. Unless it's just lighting. I, I've still not really gotten too much of a uh, solid opinion on that, whether it's like the track actually changes or whether it's just the lighting updates that change it. But it certainly looks more rubbery, does it not? I think it does. I feel like I'm bogging a bit too much in the center. This is a big enough track that we're not really hanging it sideways in turns. 15th, that's pretty much the norm for us here for qualifying recently. I think we can do better in the race. In the Armour Chili 80! We got uh, Kishore Gole starting in the back. And us. Well, not much news today. Not much news. Not a ton of news in the real NASCAR world either. Last weekend was a Talladega weekend, which is usually a crazy one. I personally only caught maybe the last third of the race, which for Talladega is kind of fine with me. I've never been the world's biggest fan of play racing, which kind of stays in line with my mentality of I'm not really the biggest fan of NASCAR trying to make all the mile and a half tracks plate racing. <laughs> this one was pretty much uh, an, an outlier, an oddball for Talladega because a particular team, they did something. They figured out something with their cars. Stuart Haas cars were so fast that they were able to work together and drive away from the field. It's not the first time that's happened. It's not the last time it'll happen. If you're going to do things to level out the 
field so much that the cars are going flat out and, I mean, that's the nature of Talladega and Daytona, is it not? Um, eventually, well, let's try to make this move here, a little bit. Eventually, you know, there's, there's just not a lot of options left for you. That was a nice move. Uh, and if somebody figures out something, kind of like the DEI cars did, you know, in the early 2000s there, well, they're just going to walk away from the field, and that's the way it's going to be. There's uh, there's not much you can do about it. If, if you have an extra half a mile an hour of speed around Talladega or Daytona, you're going to dominate, and that's that's just how it is. That's a nice clean run, though. We moved up. So yeah, there's there's all the you know, angry mob people <laughs> that are upset that the race was relatively tame because it was so dominated by those front four. Uh, the end of the race got a little bit more, you know, shaken up because of a uh, late caution, <laughs> as always. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, that's. To me, that's that's the nature of the beast. You're always going to have that, especially with the super speedway stuff. Sometimes it's going to be, you know, insane, and you know, big pack racing and, and, and tons of passing and whatnot. And then sometimes you're just going to have teams that figure out something, you know, some kind of trick to do with the bodies. And what they're doing is severely yawing out the bodies via suspension. They're actually, they're actually setting up the suspension to be wrong, as we would call it, crab walking. Uh, that, you know, I see off-road trucks or, you know, roadosers around here all the time that are, that are crab walking down the street. That's because they have their suspension messed up and it's not properly, um, sorry, it's McCabe next to me. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure he remembered us. Uh, so yeah, if, if it's not, if the front wheels aren't tracking the rear wheels right, the body will go down the street at an angle. But they're doing that intentionally in NASCAR, basically to hide the rear spoiler from the air. Uh, that's that's the trick that they have done there. The body itself isn't skewed. That's what they were doing in the 90s and 2000s. They would skew the whole body. Uh, the body is less skewed now, but they're skewing the suspension to replicate those results. And, you know, I'm sure NASCAR will hunt that down, chase it, and try to limit it. But for now, they did it right, and uh, it was very effective for them. The way it goes, I don't see any reason to knee-jerk react and say that they need to, you know, do some completely different package to fix it. Nah, don't worry about it. Unless they want to bring back tandem racing. I really love the tandem racing. <laughs> hey, that was a good run as well. No, oh, no pitting. Get out of here. Get out of here. Seventh. Hopefully we have a little bit longer of a run there. I feel like we have decent pace. Although I'm a little slow off the start. Yeah, you see they, they pull me down the front straightaway there for some reason. can drive in there to turn one and try to get that position back at least. This track's pretty fun in the dirt. It's got some options. Because they don't just glue to the bottom. Whoa! Put me in the wall, why don't you? Can you be a jerk? I'll be a jerk. Oh, this is getting real. Big hit! And yellow. Well, that got physical. <laughs> Estimated repair is nine seconds. Should I bother? How many laps are gonna be left? Seven laps? Boy, this race is way too short. Alright. Well, I don't even know who that was. I don't even know their name. But we started kind of like bouncing off each other down the straightaway and couldn't stop. Nope, couldn't get there. 
might be that I have too much damage at this point. We'll see. This race basically doesn't matter, thanks to the playoff system. Way to go, NASCAR. <laughs> so, I guess I'm just trying to get a top 10, because that's what our contract wants. Or maybe they want another top 5, I don't remember. Boy, that worked. A clear all around, huh? Stupid spotter. So much for our clean race. It was a real clean first stage. And then uh, from there, it's not been so clean. Oh, yeah, I got door check there. Can't get out of this high groove. Try and make it work. All right. Well, we're back down to the bottom. Oh, that was it. Huh. That was bad. Wow, our speed rating was not that terrible though. So I wonder what was going on. Well, I guess maybe our spin really hurt us. It was rough. It was looking real positive for the first couple stages, and then <laughs> our little tingle there. We're not gonna find that in the replay because they do the whole replay system. Let's see. Did I miss it? Yeah. Where's the replay? Nope, I guess I did miss it. Oh well. Here's the here's the action replay. We done did that. You made the playoffs. Shoot dang. We already knew that, really. Eleventh. Ten thousand. Eleven fans. Uh, oh, we got a bunch of races yet to get to that top five. What's our mentor got to say, though? Congrats on making it to the playoffs. There's still a long way to go, but keep working hard, and I know you'll be a champion. Okay. <laughs> oh, our truck series. I thought we were going to be all playoffs all the time now. Okay, let's. what can we do down here in tunnel turn? Oh, what the... What the hell was that? What the hell, game? Oh, that's so infuriating! Shoot, dang, they done made me mad now. <laughs> oh, NASCAR Heat about to get a piece of my mind. Rubber banding is bad. Don't put it in your video games. I'm pretty sure what's going on is in those hot seat races, uh, what they're doing is if the player gets in a position that's better than the hot seat, you know, goal. They're rubber banding the AI way up in order to put you back in the field where you belong. And basically, the AI just become like superhuman and they drive 10 miles an hour faster into the turn than, you know, they did at the beginning of the race and then that is physically possible. And in doing that, because they're pretty dumb, they just run straight into the back of you, spin you out and make you have a bad time. So, lesson of the day is, game developers, don't put rubber banding in your AI. It's, it's, to me, rubber banding is nothing more than a sign of lazy coding and lazy development. If you can't make AI that's fun and challenging without rubber banding, you might as well not do it. Okay? All right? We good there? They're not going to listen to me. They don't care. Nobody cares what I say <laughs> in the game development world. I don't know why I'm bothering wasting my and your time. Let's let's go. Let's go to to Dremen and start our semifinals in the Extreme Dirt Tour playoffs. Uh, and let, let's try to have a better time because I really do enjoy the dirt racing quite a bit, and I'm hoping. Once we get out of the hot seat stuff, my plan is to completely bypass the whole hot seat system. Uh, once we get out of that, hopefully we'll have a better time with the non-dirt stuff. Well, this is a track we have run at quite a bit. I'll go do a lap or two of practice, but... You gotta start there, guard. I'm pretty much ready to, to get out there and, and start fighting for some wins here in the in the playoffs because that's pretty much all that matters in the in the modern system 
is uh, is get a win in in the round that you're in, so that you can make it to the end. I am. Pro I'm gonna start. The, the Southern is gonna be real strong for this last race because that that truck race done pissed me off. <laughs> Angry cone is Southern cone. That that's just how it works. Who knows what I'm gonna be driving like this one? I'm sure I'll be getting every driver mad at me now. I'm gonna be driving like a man possessed. All right, that's enough. Let's go qualify. <laughs> uh, not resume. To pit. Continue. Next session. Qualify. We go. Spin them tires up. Man, this game. This whole series, NASCAR heats the games really, really frustrating because they're so close to making good games and then they just make so many decisions that are that are cheap and, and kind of half-assed because they aren't willing to put the time. Suck it. Everybody, <laughs> I, apparently you should drive angry. Driving angry is good, apparently. Because <laughs> we just got the, the the pole position. I don't think we've done that yet. <laughs> um, yeah, they just if they would just take the time to actually make a good game instead of putting out a game every year, boy, it'd be a lot better. Oh, nothing else to say, huh? We're just we're starting from first. Let's do this thing. I've never had this view before. And the view is gone. <laughs> well, at least we had it for a second, right? Wow, I thought I would clear him on the bottom. The bottom is the passing lane here. He's just got enough momentum up there, though. I highly doubt that. Oh, maybe, maybe we did clear him, actually. Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Now, if they start going a lot faster in Stage 3, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> if they've rubber-banded the AI in every race session like that, that would... That would really rub me the wrong way. Right now, we're flat out outrunning them. Nice. I think I'm, I'm running this really, really low lane that's almost like out of the banking, but it's working for me. Uh, catch the back of the field, though. Alright. That is a stage win right there. I don't know what's going on today. Okay. Uh, nothing to do here. Want to get to it? I just gotta keep channeling my anger. Anger is what makes you drive faster. They still get that good run on the start on the outside. Not clear outside. Why do you bother speaking? I don't think I am. I hear him. Yep. That's <laughs> that's another one of those things. Like, did they even try? Did they even test that the spotter stuff worked? before they pushed the game out. And then they didn't even, like, attempt to patch it when they realized it didn't work. Oh, they were rubbing. I can't tell if he's still there or not. I don't think he is. Yeah, I think we cleared him. I don't know if we... 
we cleared him or we lost him. Like, I don't even see him in the mirror over there now. Looks like a completely different car behind us. They're running too wide behind us, so we're going to be able to just pull away from the field right now. Seems like that's the key to the race for me, is if I can, if I can clear the outside lane... then we're good to go for the rest of the stage. Ooh, bubble. Hi, hug. Kinda in my way. Whoa, hey, yeah, you're really in my way. <laughs> That's gonna be an angry tweet. Two stage wins in a row. What happened behind us there? Because that was definitely somebody different than we were racing with. Like, he just disappeared. We were side by side. I don't think there was any contact there. Maybe he hit the wall or something? I don't know. Coming to the green, driver. All right. Ready. Well, I'm ready. Ten laps. Boy, look at the run they get on the outside. Not side by side this time. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Oh, it's Laguerre. I don't think so. This was my race. Anger man wants to win. They just keep running me too wide there. <laughs> oh! I'm telling you, they're faster in the third stage. There's no, yeah, there's no way I was going to have enough to run out. They're still outside of me. I don't believe you. Yeah, I thought so. All right, let's try and get back to Ratner now. We may have to use these lap cars to do it. Drive it in! <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I think these lap cars are going to be what wins the race for us. Use them as a pick. There we go. That's how it's done. Okay. As long as we don't get tangled up with any of these lap cars, we should be all right now. Yep. And this will uh, this will let us advance right on through. I bet you. I hope Jefferson's in one of is in this portion of this playoff thing so that I can just skip that race. That would be ideal. Okay. Professional work. Speed rating 101. Burnout, I think so. A little dirt burnout. Really not that satisfying. <laughs> Alright, we did something. Whew. Okay. Alright. Did we at least sell two shirts today? We're in the playoffs, we won the race. We sell two shirts. No shirts! Oh, okay. Oh, $12. Maybe we sold like a shirt and a and a koozie. Shirt and a koozie. Okay, we have advanced. Oh, it's it's semifinals and finals, huh? Well that might be good. Because that would mean that we could skip that Jefferson track. That'd make me real happy. Mighty fine looking trophy. We had the fastest lap. 
Right, there's your lesson of the day, kids. Two lessons today. Don't put rubber banding in your games. And drive angry. It's the only way to succeed. First, 17 grand, 22 fans. Ah, oh, we passed 240. That's sad. Fantastic win, says Brady Davidson. Fast and clean at the same time. Thank you. Ah, oh, we're friends now, aren't we? Brady Lewis, you aren't the only one on the track. Stay off my bumper next time. Eh, yeah, screw off. Todd Aguilar, next time, why don't you try something new? You know, like winning without running into me? <laughs> Get provoked. Rival. Scott Hag, did you mean to hit me? Was that intentional? Yeah, it seems like you're racing a little rough. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. I'm, I'm very sorry, Mr. S Mr. Hag. <sighs> okay. Now what? All right, next race is the Extreme Dirt Tour, which is fine. <laughs> we can we can just stick to those. Oh, it's going to be Jefferson. Well, I guarantee you I'm going to go ahead and sim that race. Going to have to have a little think over on this whole series right now. I'm, uh, I'm really not liking the, the, the AI in the game at the moment. And I'm I'm almost tempted to just change this over to a multiplayer series because if I can get enough people together to do like a multiplayer little season or something, we still have the chance to talk about NASCAR, and we wouldn't have to deal with what is a really really lousy AI system. I'm gonna consider it. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned next time to figure out or see what I figure out. Maybe figure out what I see. I don't know. I'm just angry. <laughs> 